Hey everybody, I wanted to take a look at a way to upload and archive and share or at least save copies of audio clips that you might want to save online and make accessible for others. Um, yes, you can do this through Google Drive or Dropbox or some uh, online storage space. You might be able to upload it to your own web hosting. Um, but if there's something that you want to leave it openly online and make it accessible to others to use, um, one option is the Internet Archive. So if I go in and I search for the Internet Archive, I'll come across this link. This is a place that you've probably used in the past. Uh, you might have used it for the Wayback Machine. So if you want to look at links um, of pages that are long gone or changes in pages over time, that's always an option. Um, you can also use, uh, you know, the, the Internet Archive will also share other openly accessible content. So there's audio, there's video, there's a lot of other great resources out there. A lot of times what I'll do is I will... Uh, have students as they're learning to video edit go in and grab some community video or audio and and download that and use that to remix new content but I really like to use the Internet Archive as a way to share audio clips so what I can do is uh, lately I've been using it to share out podcasts um, but then also there are opportunities to go in and share um, you know, audio recordings and of, of meetings or audio recordings of performances or speeches. Um, I'm going to start investigating the use of the Internet Archive to share out uh, researcher notes and uh, lectures from class. So what you're going to do is you're going to first go in and you're going to sign in. I already have an account. I've uploaded a lot of content. Um, and like I said, I've been using the Internet Archive lately to host my podcast and I haven't seen good resources lately on how to do this. So I'm going to go to upload. I'm going to hit upload files. This is pretty standard dialogue. One of the things I like to point out at this point is I downloaded a couple copies of my latest podcast and you'll notice that some of the podcast, some of the file names, they're all mp3s. Some of the file names are, you know, have a lot of dots and dashes and underscores and random uh, characters in them. I learned through uh, trial and error, uh, mostly error, that you want to eliminate all that. So it works a lot easier if you go in and you just whittle this thing down to uh, simple things. So episode one or, um, you know, a, a date. But if you have the date, it even messes it up. So after making a lot of mistakes, I went back and changed this. But you're basically going to go in, you're going to select a audio clip. When you go in, you're going to name it, give it a, a page title. Uh, you're going to give it a page URL. So this will be where people go to to access this content. You're going to give it a brief description. So you could say a podcast about technology. Then you're going to go in and give this thing uh, tags or keywords. So I could say tech. I could say education. I could say podcast. If I could spell podcast correctly, the creator of the content, that would be me. In the past, I've messed around with naming it after my Twitter handle or my username or my website. It's a lot easier just to use my name there. I'm going to give this thing a date that I uploaded it. So I'm going to say that this was shared today. I'm also going to leave this as community audio. I can change this if I want. I'm going to uh, not include this as a test item. I'm going to leave it. Uh, so that it doesn't automatically delete after 30 days. So if you want to make this thing disappear after a while, uh, indicate the chosen language of this. I'm going to add a Creative Commons license because that's important for me. So I'm going to leave this as a Creative Commons license um, and allow remix. Uh, that's basically the CC attribution license that I use for most of my stuff. You could also, if you want, I've done this in the past, require the share alike. You can make this public domain audio or no rights reserved, but the CC0 license. If you want, you can add additional metadata. I do not. I pretty much leave it like it is. You can see over here, I can add more files to this, and then I can see my, uh, my file getting ready to upload. So if I hit upload and create the item, it will go in and it will upload it for me. I'm going to skip over so that we don't have to watch that thing upload. And what I'm going to do is look at other content that I've already uploaded. So if I go to my library, I can go in and see episodes that I've already uploaded. So this 
podcast that I've already uploaded, I can go here. Now I'm loading the MP3 file. I'm seeing the uh, the waveform of this. I can play this in the browser. I can share this link out to others and play it. I can uh, change the volume here. I can share this to a Chromecast or a device in my classroom or in my home. Um, and there's a lot of other tools that I can use. I can change the playback speed here. You can see down here I've already added a lot of details to this. The nice thing is here is the title that I gave it. Here's my name that I added before. You can see my uh, license that I gave it, my topics and my keywords, the language that I gave it. And then all of this is descriptive information that I added as I uploaded it. A couple of the nice things that are here. Um, what I really value is over here, I can star this or favorite or other people can star it if they like it. They can share this out. So I can go in, I can embed this on my website, I can embed this on my WordPress site, I can share this out through my other social networks, I can go remix this elsewhere in like popcorn and other spaces. Um, if you see stuff that's a little bit questionable, you can flag it. Um, but one of the nice things is that when I upload it, all I did was I uploaded the MP3 file, and you can see that uh, the Internet Archive went already and they uh, basically converted a lot of my file, they converted my file into other formats. Um, then they can also share as a torrent and other materials. So the nice thing is that they basically did all of this on its own. Now here's a lot of the behind the scenes that I figured out as I was tr sort of problem solving this past week. So if I go into edit, I'm going to have two choices. One is I can change the information, the metadata about the file or I can change the actual files. So if I go to change the metadata, I'm going to go back to all of the resources that I had when I first uploaded this thing. And if I want to, I can go to the item manager and see more details. But most of the stuff you need to change, you'll be able to change here. So I'm going to change the title, my name. I can't change any of the open source of the audio. I can change my data um, or the description that I have for the file. I can add a date of upload. I chose not to add the date of upload. Um, I'm going to leave that over on my website because this is part of my podcast. I can add my keywords again. I can change or remove my CC license. And the only other thing that I would uh, change in here is, you know, who uploaded this, who taped it, stuff like that. But most of the stuff I've left alone and I basically just let uh, the Internet Archive do its thing. You can see the derivations of the file and all of the other information and metadata left behind. And you can change, do I want lossy versions of these files or not? Um, so I can basically uh, submit this. If I go to the item manager, you have more options. I can edit the uh, metadata behind it and some of the other uh, you know, search histories and keywords for it. So I'm gonna back out. So that's the change the information piece. And one of the things I notice is if I go to change the files, uh, this is where you have a little bit more power. So where I messed up previously is I uploaded the file and I had all of the, the dates and times in the file name. That severely messed me up when I tried to share out the MP3 uh, share link for my podcast. And I'll show this in another video. But in here, you'll notice that I have the original names and, and uh, the, the file names there. But then I also have the MP3 here. And I have the link for the tour and everything else. So what I figured out through trial and error is if you go in and you click on one of these, if I click and I right click or control click on a Mac, I can go in and I can delete these files, which is terribly important if you want to upload a newer version or a better version. I can add folders. I would leave that alone, but I can rename it. Um, and so this was very helpful for me and this was a huge aha moment as I was trying to figure out how to fix the share link so that I can use it uh, to share the mp3 as a podcast out on my WordPress site and I'll cover this in another video but I can go in and I can change it um, and then if I hit done editing what it will do is it will uh, put your task in a queue and at some point pretty quickly uh, Internet Archive is going to make that change for you. Um, and so what I did was I changed all the file names and within, I would say, 30 seconds, minute maximum, they went in and they changed 
the uh, file name. And so what you would see is, I think it was in here or here, they had a little uh, notice that things had been changed behind the scenes or were being changed behind the scenes. So the nice thing now is, I have audio, this MP3 file uploaded. It's 32 minutes long. Um, I'm not paying anything. I'm making this openly accessible to others online. Um, I can, as I showed you before, I can share this. So I can embed this in my uh, in a site. I can embed this in my WordPress site. Um, I can share it out online. But then the other uh, killer part of this is, what I can do is I can right click on this MP3 file and I can copy that link address. And then the nice thing is if I paste it, you can see that it's giving me the archive.org, the download, and the MP3 file. So if I hit return on this, what it's gonna do is open up that file, um, and this is the MP3 share or the media URL that you need for podcasting. If you're gonna use Internet Archive to podcast, if you're gonna share audio clips on your WordPress site or other sites, you need that mp3 uh, media url and so that's how you get it the way that i've messed up um, is that file name so the way to change that file name is either before you upload things um, make sure and i'm going to go through this one more time because this was a huge pain for me so when you upload the file make sure that it doesn't have all of this stuff in here clean it up make it look a little bit like this Keep it simple so that you can understand it and you can differentiate. But once you upload it, if you make a mistake like I did, you can go in and you can edit this thing. Go to change the files. And what you're going to do is go in and you're going to rename that to uh, something more like this and less like that. Uh, last thing we'll take a look at while we're here is I can go into manage. And this brings us back to that item manager that we looked at before. So hopefully that helps you out. Uh, Internet Archive is a great place to upload and archive and save and share uh, all sorts of, of media. I think it's a powerful place to share audio clips. So this could be a podcast. It could be meeting notes. It could be recordings of different things that, um, you know, a lot of times audio and video hogs up space in our storage. It could be Dropbox or Google Drive. Video, my key use for video has always been YouTube. I'm gonna to start to think about sharing my my videos out through Internet Archive as well. But for audio, it really is, um, for me, it makes sense to upload audio clips to the Internet Archive and share those out um, because you can upload it for free. You can create your own little library in the Internet Archive um, and you can share that content out with other people online. They can take your content, they can remix it, they can like it and do other stuff with it. So hopefully that was of value to you. Please leave me comments and questions and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and hopefully you have a great remainder of your day.